So first of all, what you're going to need is go to the uh, URL to download the Scotty Dog Project. You'll download this and print it. It will be three sheets, um, two of which are the Scotty Dog template and the instructions about doing this project. So you'll see on the template it gives you instructions about taping it together and cutting it out. So that's the first thing that we're going to need. And then I'm going to run through everything else that we need real quick. Um, of course we need fabric. This is a great scrap buster project. Um, or if you don't use scraps from your stash and you want to be very particular, go ahead and pick out about 16 eighth cut pieces of fabric. So that's what I've got right here are my fabric pieces. The next thing that you're going to need is a self-adhesive mounting board. You're going to need a piece of tearaway stabilizer and a fat quarter of your background fabric. Now obviously that's not a fat quarter, I've already cut it down to size. Um, the last thing that you're going to need is freezer paper. Okay, let's get started on some quick instruction about how to do this. Let's get started, I'm just going to show you real quick what we're going to do with our strips of fabric. So I have eighth yard cuts here, just a pile of good eighth yard cuts that I like. And then I'm going to cut each one of those into one inch pieces, one inch by the width of fabric. And then I slice them so that we're working with a strip that's about, strips that are about eight, one inch by 22 inches. And we're go going to just begin piecing those together. Um, once I piece them together, I recommend opening up the seam and pressing it flat as you go. It will keep things just nice and tidy. Um, one more tidbit to remember, as you go, you're going to start one end and piece it together on that side and then with the next strip you'll start on the opposite end. So if you alternate where you begin with each strip, it will prevent the fabric from becoming distorted as you work with it. So you can see that I've just given you an example here um, about how to get started. So you're going to strip about 24, 25, 26 pieces in a row in order to accommodate the size of the Scotty Dog. So this is what it's going to look like. And you can see I've already cut out a piece and I'm going to use the same piece. Here's the back. It's beautiful. You can use either side, this for a more scrappy look or this for a more polished um, finish. We're going to take your Scotty Dog template and you're going to trace it on your, tra on your freezer paper. Freezer paper, if you haven't used it before, is a great um, tool. We can stick the freezer paper right on here and iron it and it's going to stick there. So let's do that next. Okay, I've cut out the Scotty, Scotty Dog template from the freezer paper and I just want to show you this is a great tool to use and what you'll do is you'll place the shiny side down on the fabric and then we'll just press it and it will adhere and provide a perfect outline of where we should cut. All right, okay. Now that I have the freezer paper onto the fabric, I'm just going to cut out around the Scotty Dog template. Okay, you can see that I've cut the Scotty Dog out and now I can just peel off the freezer paper and looking at it, boy, I can't decide if I want this side or this side. I think for this particular one I might use this side and just make it nice and scrappy. So let's sew it on. Okay, now we've got the Scotty Dog sewn onto our background fabric and I just did a running stitch a quarter inch from the edge all around and I'm, I like that it's scrappy, so I'm just going to leave a raw edge right there. Um, now I've got the tearaway stabilizer, I'm just going to start tearing this off. Really slick and really simple. Okay, you can see I'm continuing to just tear away all of the stabilizer. The purpose of the stabilizer is to just make sure that the background fabric in particular does not pucker as we stitch. And of course you can do any kind of stitch you want. Um, I've done a blanket stitch in the past and that pulls the background fabric a little bit more and so that's when the having stabilizer is especially important. Okay, now we're um, 
going to trim down the background fabric. My recommendation is to always leave the background fabric an inch or two larger than your mounting board or the pillow that you want to make. Um, so our mounting board is 11 by 14 and you can see it's just the self-adhesive mounting board. I'm going to peel that off after I have this cut to size. So I'm going to cut this down to 11 by 14 right now. Pull off the mounting adhesive backer and I'm going to take my trimmed up Scotty dog and gently lay it center it on the board and start from the center and work my way out to the edges. There! Now our project is complete and ready to frame.